with pmp online it is a great opportunity to give exam anywhere from the world but you have some difficulties also you cannot use paper as you were able to use in traditional pmp exam you have to use white board i have heard it from many students that they face difficulty using white board the first thing the difficulty is because of the reason that you have never utilized white board so in order to use white board you can go on google and write free white board with covid situation many of the websites are giving free website free white board for the teachers you can utilize that or you can go to zoom and you can use white board when you log in at the zoom even if you are not the paid customer of zoom you can have a 45 minute session and in when you click the share button you will have a white board i'm going to use the same white board that is being provided by zoom so if you use it for zoom it can help you otherwise you can anywhere whatever the board is available for you the most important thing is that you do practice before going to the exam so let's take a question and then we will move ahead okay so this is our question we need to find critical path now here is being asked critical part maybe they can ask you float of any activity whatever float of any activity or whatever they can ask you now we have four option a b e a c e a d e and this is the basically table activities are starting from a then b c d have a predecessor as a a a then all three activities are going to e and e is going to finish so we have duration 58675 and let's see how we can make a white board for it so i'm going to use the white board okay so the first thing that you must do for your pmp exam never write start and finish you have to save time for your pmp exam so no don't write start or finish for that okay we know the first activity is a so and three points grow from a to b c d okay i can write here a here i can write maybe b here i can write c and here i can write d okay now i know that all b c d i you can read it from the question that all of these are going there okay you see in the draw option you have a free line if you want to use free line or if you want to use straight line both are okay whatever you want to use you can use so we have e so we have drawn our critical path we have made our critical path it does not look beautiful to me so i am going to raise this 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 and i am going to use this this uh, comparatively it better okay activity a so now the duration of a was 5 and we know that the first activity start on day 1 duration is 5 the formula the formula is for early finish is equal to early start plus duration minus 1 when you are moving forward past this is the formula so utilizing this formula the duration of b was 8 duration of b was 8 but we have 6 8 using this formula 6 plus 8 14 minus 1 13 okay the duration of c is 6 6 6 6 6 6 plus 6 12 11 maybe okay then the duration of d is 7 so 6 Seven six plus seven thirteen minus one twelve. Okay, 
now in order to uh, in order for e to start all three activities b c d has to finish c will finish on the 11th day d will finish on the 12th day and b will finish on the 13th day so e can only start when b c d are finished so e will be starting on 14th day so we will have its early start as 14 duration of e was 5 so 14 plus 5 19 minus 1 14 plus 5 19 minus 1 18 now interesting thing since b is giving to activity e so a b e automatically becomes the critical path if your path is as simple as this one you can stop the calculation and you can go and check the option which whichever option you have in my case the option a so you can choose that but if you want to follow the complete thing or the they are asking you for float so then you have to do backward pass for backward pass always remember that late finish of last activity here in, in this case is e late finish is equal to early finish so we will have here late finish 18 duration remains the same 5 14 and the formula for late start is late start is equal to late finish minus duration plus one okay i have used this formula 18 minus 5 you have 13 plus 1 14 okay let's see now 14 will go back to all the activities we will have 13 13 13 as the late finish for all the activities so we will have 13 duration 7 13 minus 7 5 and you will 13 minus 7 plus 1 what you will have 5 okay so we have 6 here okay we have made a mistake here wherever i have made the mistake i need to check 6 plus 7 13 minus 1 12 13 minus 7 okay 13 minus 7 is basically 6 so 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 here we have 7 then we can put here okay we also have 13 here as the late finish then we have 6 13 minus 6 we have 7 plus 1 8 okay these activity maybe we can change the color yes in order to differentiate <coughs> then for the b activity we also have 13 and then we have 8 8 minus 13 5 we have 6 okay from this the smallest will go to the a so 6 is the smallest so it will have 5 sorry 5 and then duration is 5 we will have 1 okay if we calculate the float of activity a it is 0 for float of b is 0 e is 0 so it is proved a b e is our critical path c 13 minus 11 is equal to 2 the activity c has a float a path a actually c path a c he has a float of 2 then path a d e as a float of one so this proves that first thing a b e is a critical path and c and d as a float of two and one respectively in this way it does not matter whatever the question is you can solve your critical path question you can find it easily i hope it has been helpful for you but the most important thing here before appearing in your pmp exam i will say at least try five to six times on whiteboard you see it took me three to four minutes to make it on whiteboard i am doing it i think for the second or third time on this whiteboard and if i keep on doing for five to six times my time duration will decrease so for a pmp exam first 
mark the network part diagram question and do it in the end first thing secondly do as much as practice minimum 5 to 10 times so that you can do it easily thank you very much for the watching if you have any question feel free to ask me anytime bye bye